Continue recording. Looks like I can make food on this. There's some shitty solenades. Uh, little spears. Let's go ahead and move on. The graphics are pretty. Uh, not bad. It looks like uh, we can collect resources. That tells a lot in itself. So let's go ahead and move on. I always try to look and see if I find anything on here. Arrows. So you can't hold it down and collect everything at once. You kind of have to do everything one at a time. That's kind of annoying. Especially when it looks like a cache. Usually, when you hit like a cache, you think you'd be able to hold something down and be able to collect it all. It's not. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, looks like. Alright. First, first guy. Uh, actions are R2 and a baby. Okay, basic stuff. Absolutely hate the attack. I'm feeling it. X is a jump. Triangle is an open mill pipe for fast items. R2. Okay. R2 gets to the melee. Okay. A little bit more stuff. They're pretty basic. Nothing too impressive, by the way. Uh, let me do a little bit more fun here. So, that looks probably like a power kick. I'm doing a. Uh, R1 right there, and R2, so oh, R2 actually feels like the heavy or the fast attack, where the other one is, the R1 is the heavy kick, the R2 is the fast. I think that's backwards for most games I've ever played, but not a weakness or a, or in the game, just different. I always want to combo with R1, R2, it's got a lot of heavy attack, so, um, you know, basic little creatures. I'm going here, I'm trying to, uh, get used to um, doing this, and remember that, the, the, the quick thing we brought up looks like we can assign stuff, well, obviously we want to do that. Um, take something from the DSD, because that's that kind of one or two combo, I just don't like. Stop the ship from others, and they keep getting this little water sign right there. I don't know what that is, maybe, probably stand them or something, but since we just went through that, let's go ahead and go through our, well, our, our quick wheel, which is usually ran by the directional, it's not, it looks like LVR3, it's not, so this game, mechanics-wise, way different. Um, let me see if it's the touchpad, no. Okay, very different. I'm the type of guy that, uh, if the mechanics of a game isn't too easy to access, you know, quick items, uh, putting equipment on, it, it distracts me from a lot of the games where I usually quit within the first, I would say, 30, 45 minutes. Um, I know that sounds crazy because there are some games you really got to get through tutorials and stuff like that. 
before you can see the actual lag game, but I've come to see about 45 minutes an hour. If I, if I can't get into the game, uh, it's probably not even going to make it. So, but again, I will say I've uh, been playing video games uh, ever since I was small. So, I know what I do and don't like, you know. The whole family is a gaming family. We are all very, uh, very unique in what we like. You know, it's from the kids that love the Roblox, uh, our sons who love the Roblox, love the Minecraft, love the building, love the puzzles, hate puzzle games uh, myself, nothing against them, don't take it that the wrong way. Um, love my nostalgia on oh, every big man, every legacy collection there is there. That's how I know uh, my firstborn <laughs> or my oldest son, as, uh, as he is. He's my son, he loves Mega Man just as much as I do. But uh, I will say this, it's, it's got a very nice open world feel to it. And I like that. I do. Um, so that's always good. Uh, so basically, you know, where you start out, this is the precursor of uh, after post apocalypse and this guy uh, uh, here we go here's, here's the video turn that down a little bit and you would think you know this guy's been out in the wasteland for who knows how long that's what they make it appear you'd think the guy would have more than a steel pipe just saying but, uh, you know I will say, cutscenes look great for where I'm at. Uh, the character's not my favorite. I already put that out there, but uh, it's got a feel of, of uh, uh, other games that I play. I just maybe need to play a little bit longer to get into it. Uh, but, uh, you know. Trigger to finish the cutscene, finish the beginning, so everybody can see. Looks like uh, my guess is he got hit by this, these monsters. Now he'll probably get some powers. Lord have mercy. You figured he was half starting man, the way he felt like that. But, uh, almost looked like them demic organs. <laughs> the little purple ruby on the back. Here comes my savior. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you got a guy with a uh, animatronic hand. Take it slowly. I understand I it. From that bite yet. It'll be a while before you get all your strength back. Okay. So perhaps you should put off an effort to demand that. Okay. Ah. Now there's that nice feel of being able to ask people. NPCs are great. Yeah, that's true. He had a, a stick, a stick and a and a boot for a weapon. Which the game starts saying that this guy supposedly uh, uh, this is uh, after the world ends. So you figure guys who lived this long would have won that. So mechanics are off. Kind of story I don't like, but can't judge a book too early. Hey, this is just a short clip into the starting this, so I'll probably run a couple more in here. You know, I don't want to ruin it for everybody else who hasn't played it and is going to watch this. This gives you a little bit of just a gist of how the game is going to go. Mechanics is always a big thing. Um, I always I always said, if I don't like the mechanics, I usually won't play the game, so if the mechanics don't change too much, I probably may not end up going on with it, but so far we'll give it a chance. But we'll catch you all later.